Bora TV. The world is thinking. Uh, well, I actually started uh, studying the oud uh, because of Vernon. So Vernon was my uh, guitar student and um, colleague in the Marine Corps. And he was on uh, the third sniper team. And another good friend of mine, Messina, was on that team too. And they were stationed for a while in the government building in the city of Kut. And they ran into this guy, Ahmed, who I've mentioned previously. And um, so I guess with the miscommunication between English and Arabic, they thought I was an Oud teacher. They thought I was an American Oud teacher. <laughs> so these guys are really excited to meet me, you know? Like, so, um, so I go, um, I didn't see them, but they sent me a letter. So I follow the directions of this letter, because there are no addresses there. So I uh, follow the letter, it says go to the government building, go to the second floor, go to the east wing, go to the seventh door on the right, stick your head in, and then there's going to be a guy in the computer terminal wearing glasses named Ahmed. And so I follow the directions, I go to the second floor, go down to the wing, go to this door, go in, and I look and I see this guy in the computer terminal wearing glasses, I said, oh, are you Ahmed? And the room erupts in laughter. Everybody's Ahmed, you know? <laughs> it's like going to Chicago and asking for Bob. <laughs> So eventually they found the right Ahmed and uh, corrected him that no, I didn't play oud, I played guitar. And I told him I would be interested in learning more about this sort of thing. He says, well, I, I know the most famous oud player in all of South Iraq. And so he says, well, come back at this day and this time and I'll bring this guy, because there are no telephones, because we knocked out all the communications. So um, he arranged this meeting. So I went back two, two days later and uh, met Ali. And uh, Ali and I studied music back and forth. So I taught him about Western music, he taught me about Arabic music, and we became very close. And um, when I was, whenever I got some time off and went to the government building, I'd go visit him and take lessons. Uh, could we show a few photos? I think we have a few um, pictures up here. Um, and that's you playing the oud, right? Yeah, that's, that's my oud. That oud was um, actually built by a very famous oud maker named Hisham al Hashim. And uh, both Hisham and Ali had been exiled into Jordan. They wouldn't write pro-Husseini pro music. And so um, not being able to do music, not having any work, they had to go to Jordan for work. And uh, they both returned to Iraq at the beginning of the war. And that's, that's Ali, my Oud teacher. And what about this? Uh, yeah, so um, these are some of the most popular Arabic scales uh, that I learned, and Ali was writing the interval patterns and teaching me how they resolve on this paper. We'd actually drawn the lines on this, and I think you've got the other side. Yeah, too. I've got the other, the other side of this. The other side. So this is Saddam Hussein letterhead. Mm. Um, <laughs> we, we broke into an office and stole it because um, we didn't have any paper, so I, we, we drew the lines on it. And uh, so this side is American music, Western music, and the other side was the Iraqi music as we were teaching each other. Yeah. Now